Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Rose of Segunda. Now, Rose of Segunda is a visual novel, everyone, and you basically play the daughter of a duchess of uh, Florentina who wants to send you off to marry, well, attempt to be married by the king of Segunda. And you uh you have to, you know, go there and get, you know, let it so we're gonna take off guys i'll make sure that my my preferences are all safe and sound all right i'll turn that down we'll go back to return and we'll hit start guys this is this disclaimer saying this is a beta demo guys also beta demo uh some of the stuff's gonna be changed and many thanks for playing you're welcome very welcome black cross and tyler i am standing beside the window gazing out from a room I won't see it again for a while, or perhaps ever, to think that in but two short weeks I may be engaged, and to the future king no less, even after all these years preparing for the moment, it doesn't feel real, does not feel real, whoops, I forgot a whole word there guys, of course mother has had its, had, has had it planned since the moment of my birth, with a prince born to the ruling family but two years before, as soon as I was discovered to be a girl, my mother saw this as our family's chance to regain our former power, for as she is keen to remind our household, it was but seven generations ago that a Parisi sat upon the throne. And and so now I must join the many other young nobles at the palace for what is ostentatiously a celebration of Crown Prince Guillaume's, uh, yeah, Guillaume's 20th birthday, though I doubt even he believes that. It has been the tradition that 20 is the age when the crown prince or princess marries. Princesses are encouraged to marry the strong, the clever, and the powerful men who could be king. Princess, on the other hand, Zagunna has had a queen once over 300 years ago. She, sat, she had not been born to the throne, but... When the king died, she refused to step down and waged war against those dukes and marquises who would have would have seen her replaced from amongst themselves. She was not the victor, though, and now history paints her as a power-hungry tyrant. Be it a true account of her character or not, since then, all chosen brides of the royal family have been of a similar disposition meek mild and without a thought in their pretty little heads in the saloon outside the sound of my mother arguing with Farik dressed through the woods muted but still quite audible i cannot believe you would send your only daughter off like this she has always known this was the plan it is her duty, something the other members of this family understand. Do you think I wish to spend the last decade overseeing her education? Or every spare moment at court flattering the king to ensure we remain where we belong as the most powerful, most prestigious house in the kingdom? Of course I did not, but it was my obligation and I bore it without complaint. Duty. There is that word again. That must be the son. Uh, I must go for duty. Federic must accompany me for duty. That word seems to be the cause and consequence of everything that happens in this house. But then, after today, I won't be in this house. A jovial rap upon the door starts me uh, from my uh, my musing. Federic, Minette, are you decent? Goodness, Federic, cease using that ridiculous pet name. Your sister is a grown woman. This is true. Are you ready? And this is where we pick our name, guys. This is where we pick our name. And we will call ourselves, uh, what's a good girl name? We'll use Mary. Mary is a good royal name, right? So we'll hit enter. 
Mary, what are you doing just standing there? Come along. The coach has been waiting all morning. Oh, my pray forgive me, mother, for I had not realized the hour. Do not bother using your your pretty manners on me. I know well enough your true nature, though I am glad at least you really, you're ready for the pretense. Now, Mary, you know for whom the king will be looking, an even-tempered, modest girl who hasn't a thought in her head. That's right, sister. That is right, sister. I hope you are ready to put your years of education to good use as the next royal dullard. As he smiles, there, look at him. Cheeking. He's a cheesing over there. Mary does not have to be an idiot. She merely needs to present herself as one. There are subtler ways to exert one's influence once one is married. And why w would she play such games? Why can't she just speak her mind? It is insulting. Insulting? That is a fair assessment from you. Lazy scoundrel, you are a, you are a shame to the family. Spending your days uh, carousing with your friends and racking up debt in every gambling house in town. Why, wow, is this a gambler? He doesn't look like a gambler. What else would you have me do? I am the younger son. Francois is heir and learning, learning his role from father. There is no need for me. If you would just let me take on a profession. And have you gossip and have the gossip uh, crawling about how we cannot afford to keep you? Certainly not. Ah, uh, what poor luck we have had of late. With Master Bertrand still abed, I cannot be spared from the estate and your father and Francois send word they are delayed at the southern holdings. How I wish your brother had returned in time to escort Mary in your stead. Uh, Bastion, mistress, the rest of the trunks have been taken down to the coach. Good. Thank you, Bastion. At least I know them. there is to be one level-headed amongst your trio. In place of, Mas of Master Bertrand, I will be relying upon you to ensure matters run smoothly and to inform me the instant they do not. Uh, I will endeavor not to disappoint the trust. The trust you and my father have placed in me, my lady. Indeed. And you, Mary, have you finished your packing? Not quite. Fine. Well, fine. We'll be waiting. We'll, we, we will await you outside. Come, Federic. Bastion, go and tell the coachman you will be departing shortly. My mother hurries the men out before her before her and the door slammed shut. <laughs> I pause a moment, feeling almost lost in the sudden stillness. Moot, the, the moot of dust sparkles in the light from the window at my back. She sighs. <sighs> it is too late now for wool gathering. I should finish packing. Nah, <laughs> stupid trunk, it's too full. Hmm. What to take out? Oh, we get a choice. A book entitled Hard Earth and Thick for Young Ladies, a bottle of uh, Burkhardt's Fireproof Whiskey, or my toothbrush. Well, we're probably going to need the, to the toothbrush and the whiskey for those late late nights to keep warm by the fire. So we'll take out the, the, the math book. There we go. Well, I'm only going to, I'm only going for two weeks. Advanced Arithmetic and the Abridged Works of uh, Rada, Rada, Radiago sh should be enough. Uh, finally packed, I summon a servant from my from my trunk, and I join my brother for a hasty farewell. Now take care, Mary, and remember, all our hopes ride with you. We will. We love you too, mother. <laughs> with a rumble, the coach sets out along the gravel uh, drive, and I have to fight not to turn and take. A last glimpse of the house. Frederic is inside with me while Bastion has his place next to the driver. My brother seems to sense I do not wish to talk and for a while we travel in silence. Outside the window the world rushes by in the familiar farmlands and distant hills which make up our province of Florentina 
as picturesque as a painting brought to life. The priests, the priests hold more land than any other noble house in the kingdom, including the monarchs. In fact, I would say our power and influence among the nobles rivals that of the ruling families, and I wonder for what feels like the hunter's time why my mother is so obsessed with the crown. My my brother is clearly enjoying the scenery, as I am. The way a way marker for the next town catches Frederic's eye, and he glances to me with a smile. Well, we are making good time. At least we should reach. Is that Tavoli? Tavoli, yeah. Well before sundown. Yes. You know there is nothing to say. Nothing to say that once we arrive in town, we even have to leave it. Two weeks carousing with your older brother does not sound so objectable, does it? I imagine Mother would raise plenty of objection once she got word that we had not arrived at the palace. Well, she would not be sending you in the first place. Uh, well, she should not be sending you in the first place, having to live a lie just to get a husband and all so Mother can boast about our family's return to the crown. Do you truly plan to go through with it? Are you going to bow to mother's demands and court the prince? We have yes, why not? Yes, it's my duty to try. Poof. No, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. It would be our duty to at least try, right? Uh, we don't want to go no because, you know, we're wasting time. So yeah, we're, it's, it's yes, it's my duty to try. Well, mother has been, uh, mother has been preparing me for this since my birth. I will not disappoint her. Uh, and what about your duty to yourself? To be who you are, the girl I am proud to call sister. Ah, uh, forgive me. I know this is not a decision you have undertaken lightly, but if your wish, but if it, but if that is your wish, then I cannot, cannot, but support you in it. I am your man to the last, Mary. We share a smile and then a comfortable silence descends upon holding us until the driver somewhere above pulls the coach to a stop with a shout whoa outside the sky is a deep amber and setting once the verdant meadow ablaze well sets the setting the setting the once verdant meadow ablaze the faded blue of the twilight just creeps in over the eastern hills the town of tavoli are looming from the road before us a collection of inns and taverns huddled before the gate as though they too crave the shelter within. Ah, we've reached a volley. Aye, that is odd. The gates are shut. Ab above me I hear Bastion frustrated tone. Guardsmen, why are the gates closed? Why? Everyone knows the town gates shut at sundown. You'll have to get a berth in one of the and outside the walls so that was the, that was his game he likely has an arrangement with one of the inns here to send the last few arrivals to their doors we we will do no such thing we have rooms already prepared within the within the town and it and is an hour yet until sunset well now it seems we have a slight disagreement here I suppose I had better tell them just who we are. Do not bother. I shall get us inside, says Mary. Guardsmen! Do you wish to delay our meeting with Sir Bartin? Then be my guest. Oh dear, can't you... You can't your town afford as much as... As daylight as the rest of Florentina? Be a reasonable man. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's use this right here. The mayor? Indeed, we are informed. We we are to inform him of his recent promotion to the, uh, the baronet of uh, Salini, uh, Salini, Salini. Though I am sure I can find the moment to mention how his guards refused us entry. <sighs> refused? No, 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 no. This is a mere misunderstanding, my lady. The gates are open to all guests of the mayor, night or day. The coach stutters forward once more, clattering between the gate post into the emptying streets. The townsfolks are returning to their homes and the families with the dusk, the welcoming glow of each window gliding the cobble 
at their feet. Some shout greetings to each other as they pass, and I wonder, not for the first time, what such a life would be like. Across the carriage, my brother lounges against the plush velvet cushion with a proud smile. Well done, sis. You got us past the f that fool with but a word. It was no trouble. I know you don't. You do not like throwing our name uh, about. No, I do not. It makes me feel so much like Fetois. Ah, uh, here we are. The end, Bastion. <clears throat> the end, Bastion. Excuse me. Has arrived in a lar is a large building over two stories. Two stories is spelled wrong. Uh, an archway set through the center, leading to a wide country where the stables and coaches. How coach houses are sitting, unless this is a uh game made to work as uh center is spelled differently too almost uh like european all right inside we are excuse me inside it is hardly as well appointed as my house but it is clean and comfortable and i find a i find a, i sleep surprisingly well under the circumstances with another day of traveling ahead bastion wakes up Wakes us early, and I am dressed and leaving my room with, a, with the dawn, but a few steps carry me to the next room along the hallway where I attempt to rise, rouse my brother similarly. Frederic, are you ready? I shall be just in a moment. Minette, go on ahead. As you will. Boom! I turn my heels and almost barrel into the broad chest suddenly before me. The man danced back in steps. In a step in his mirrored alarm. Oh, excuse me. Your pardon, my lady. He recovers himself before I do. The slight of my the slightness of my smile takes the edge from piercing gray eyes as his brows with an ease of grace. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here. Uh that's enough for today reading. I'm gonna hit quick save. Quick save is complete. And then uh I'm gonna end it here, guys. So all right, let's try that again, guys, since I flubbed that outro. If you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to share it with your friends out there. And don't forget to leave a comment below, guys. You can also pick this game up on Itch.io, guys. It's free. It's supposed to come out later in March of uh, t of this year. Uh, and an estimated price is going to be 9 bucks, which is not bad. Um, and you can check it out for yourself, guys, if you want to go on and read ahead and check out all the CGs and stuff like that. Be my guest, guys. Just don't spoil it for me because I am probably going to finish this on my own or I might do another episode uh, to uh, just see it off. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Peace.